Today, we're going to learn more about different types of lines. So I have some pictures up on the screen. What I'm gonna ask that you do is, I'm gonna ask that you take a look at these pictures and then you can pause the video and I want you to just jot down some notes about what do you notice with these lines. It doesn't have to be a lot of details, just some things that you notice could be on a post-it or a piece of scratch paper, whatever you have in front of you. So go ahead and pause this video and then we'll come back and discuss our notes. So here are some of the notes that I jotted down. So in the first picture of the railroad tracks, I noticed that the lines don't intersect. Also, the lines stay the same distance apart from each other. So I'm looking at these railroad lines, right? And I see that they're continuing on. And although it doesn't look like it in the picture, I know that railroad tracks, they stay the same distance apart so that the train can stay on those tracks. Those I noticed were parallel lines. The next picture I saw here, I noticed that the lines crossed or intersected and that those intersecting lines formed angles. I saw acute and obtuse angles formed. Here I see an acute angle, and over here I see an obtuse angle. Oops. So both types of angles are formed there. And then my last picture of the Golden Gate, Golden Gate Bridge, I noticed that the lines, and I was looking at the um, structures of the bridge, so like this up and down support here, and then the actual bridge across. And I noticed that the lines crossed or intersected, and that those intersecting lines formed four right angles. So we're gonna talk about some mathematical terms to describe these pictures. So here, back to my railroad tracks, this was a real life example of parallel lines. And parallel lines are lines in a plane that are always the same distance apart. Parallel lines never intersect. So sometimes you'll see a picture of some lines that look like they're not intersecting or touching, but you have to think about if those lines continued on forever, would they ever cross paths or intersect? A railroad track, they won't intersect, right? They're parallel because if they did, then the train wouldn't be able to stay on those tracks. So here's an example, a math example of some parallel lines. I see I have line DE and I have line FG. So I would say that line DE is parallel to line FG. And then my last box here, these are my mathematical symbols that I use to describe the relationship of these parallel lines. So line DE, we know how to write line DE because we learned that a couple lessons ago. And then those two lines in between, that actually means parallel. That symbol means is parallel to. So line DE is parallel to line FG, and that's how I would write that out. Let's take a look at our next picture. The Golden Gate Bridge. I think I skipped my order here, that's okay. So the Golden, Great, Golden Gate Bridge is representing perpendicular lines. Perpendicular lines are lines in a plane that intersect to form four right angles. So I notice this picture here of these lines, line LM and line NO, I see that those are perpendicular because the way that they cross or intersects forms four right angles. And I could write that by writing line LM, which we know how to write that, and that symbol right there that looks like an upside down T, that symbol means is perpendicular to. So I'd write line LM is perpendicular to line NO. It's nice that we have that symbol because perpendicular is a long word to spell. <laughs> and my last picture here. So these were my other train tracks. And this shows intersecting lines. So intersecting lines are lines on a plane that cross at exactly one point. Intersecting lines form four angles. So you'll notice the difference between intersecting and perpendicular is that intersect intersecting lines form four angles. Perpendicular lines form four right angles. So here I have a picture of lines HI and lines JK. And I can say line HI intersects line JK at point X. 
okay, because they intersect at one point. So I labeled that point X where they intersect. And I don't have a fun little symbol for this, but I would write that line HI and line JK intersect at point X. So I labeled that point where they intersect. Now it's your turn to identify some parallel intersecting and perpendicular lines. You're going to take a look at your journal. This is on page 561, this little map at the bottom, or try this, and you're going to identify what types of lines you see. 